Let me ask you, first of all, about the possibility of a sale of your resources business, which is the headline that kind of sticks out at me on the Bloomberg from uh, this morning. You say you're pursuing strategic uh, options. These kind of reviews typically lead to sales. Is that a possibility? Yes, it's great to be with you. It is a possibility. We've been looking at that for a while. Pleasingly, the, the resources, the coal business, made an increased profit this year, which has been significant for the group. We are talking to various parties at the moment. There's no certainty there'll be an outcome, but there is a possibility that we will sell both the, the Curra coal mine and our interest in Bengala in time. Um, if we don't, they're good assets and, uh, uh, and over time have been fantastic generators of cash for the group. Um just out of curiosity, what kind of buyer do you think would be interested? And you talk about them being fantastic assets. They're actually performing all right right now. Yeah, they are because um, export prices for particularly metallurgical coal have been strong. Uh, the sort of buyers we're talking to, one of, our, one of our businesses, we have a joint owners and so the other owners are talking to us as are other parties. And, uh, and in terms of the Met Coal business, then... Typically, it's other coal miners who, who are talking to us. We, we've got... These are, these are really good businesses with low-cost uh, positions on the cost curve uh, and, and good quality product coming out of them with good infrastructure. So, you know, they're, they're really good assets. Um, we'll look at what the best thing is for our shareholders in terms of that strategic review. But, as I say, it's, it's a possibility. S sale is a possibility, as is, as is retaining the businesses. Yep, a bunch of options on the table. Um, Richard, we saw um, uh, data coming out of Australia this morning in terms of the jobless numbers, uh, much better than expected figures, i.e. the jobless rate continues to come down. Um, you are a huge employer in Australia. Um, do you think we're going to get to the point soon when you start to see these numbers, meaning that you're going to have to pay people more? Well, in a sense... Um Paying people more is something I think we'd all like because one of the one of the issues in the Australian economy has been low wages growth and it, you know in a low inflation environment I guess there's an expectation of that but but it would be nice to see some wages growth um, and it is pleasing to see unemployment rates fall and certainly our employment numbers in West Farmers has gone up over the last 12 months. It, it's still I think there is still some fragility in the in the domestic economy. Uh, so I don't think we'll see inflationary pressure on wages in the near term. But it is, you know, th those things are all important in terms of building uh, some confidence in an environment that, that the economy will continue to grow, as Australia has now for an extended period of time, and, and businesses like ours will continue to invest, and, and out of that will come job opportunities for people. I wonder about the... I mean, I assume that you're looking to at strategic options for your resources business so you can focus on uh, coal, so you can focus on target. What is being done to make those businesses more competitive? Yeah, just going to the first part of your question, I mean, we, we would love to grow our industrials business. Our, the, the other parts of our industrials division now, chemicals, energy and fertiliser division and our industrials division, both performed well last year and we think they've got terrific growth prospects. But, but going to the retail businesses, a target we've, we've stripped back, we've taken costs out, um, we yep. think we can now grow that business, we've got to get the assortments right, right. Um, and, and we're positive about the outlook for, for targets.